Well, the singing of the National Anthem and the Mexican National Anthem. Good evening, everybody. My name is Mike McDowd. Welcome to Dodd Stadium on the campus of Justin Siena High School in Napa. It's a smoky night here in Napa. Of course, the Paradise Fires affecting this uh, game tonight. And this game really is not just another soccer game. It is a game about, it is really a night that celebrates a beautiful life and a beautiful game. And, of course, when we're talking about a beautiful life, we're talking about Elena Housley, a young lady who was, uh, well, tragically taken away last weekend. She is the daughter of owner Eric and Hannah Housley. Hannah Housley, excuse me. And they are the uh, owners of Napa 1839 FC. And for them... This really hopefully is a night of uh, celebration for their daughter because this game, although we are celebrating the, game, the beautiful game of soccer, soccer is called the beautiful game, it really is about a beautiful life. And as we talk about Hannah, we're going to honor her tonight as Eric and his beautiful wife, Hannah, out with the Napa 1839 football club as we prepare for the game the team coming around them giving them hugs and give them a lot of love because really this team is about love and this game as we mentioned transcends far more than the, the sport of soccer tonight it, it is a game that means an awful lot to eric and hannah and uh it's it's a game that really uh, we will we will take at the 15 minute mark of the game. We're actually going to stop and pause to have a, a rousing ovation for the life of Elena, and it's going to be something very special. It's never been done that I'm aware of in Napa 1839 Football Club history. Um, you can see Eric and his wife, along with Club America, exchanging jerseys. Club America, the visiting team from Mexico City tonight. It's a special deal. Club America has traveled from Mexico City to take on Napa tonight in a very special match in front of at least 2,000 people here at Justin Sienna High School. The house is definitely packed, and it, although the conditions are smoky, there was some, some fear that this game would be canceled, but... The game and the honoring of their beautiful daughter goes on tonight. And uh, it's an emotional scene here for sure. There's a lot of love, and uh, I think that's really what this night is about. And we hope and pray our, our prayers and are with the Housley family, with uh, Eric and his wife, and, of course, uh, Elena's grandparents and Adam Housley. Uh, Adam Housley and his wife and family. Adam is a, a guy that I know. I have had the pleasure of working with him in television. And uh, it's a thrill to be here to um, to really just kind of honor this family tonight. And uh, again, a special night of soccer. A special night to s just come on out and enjoy the beautiful game. Both teams on the field. The home team, Napa. And they're all green uniforms. Lime green in the middle and green, dark green jerseys on the back. Club America, the very, of course, their parent team, a very famous team in Mexico with their traditional yellow jerseys, blue pants. And something that you'll get used to tonight, the Mexican team, for example, the right winger, Eddie Eder Vargas is wearing number 303. So you'll, when we call some of the numbers tonight, you will be hearing numbers that you don't normally hear, at least here in America. The fans making a lot of noise as we get ready to start this match here at Dodd Stadium. Thanks. 
So we get underway. As we mentioned, the officials for tonight, the referee, Julian Arias, Brian Juarez, the referee, Walter Maldonado, and Jose Arroyo. As this match is underway from Dodd Stadium on a, uh, well, a smoky night here in the Napa Valley, no doubt about it. This game started at 7.08. And it is going to be a match where, you know, it's there. there's some interesting scenarios to talk about. You know, for Napa 1839, it really is, it presents itself with, really the biggest match they've ever had in the history of this young organization. And one thing you can say about Napa is that, uh, again, this is probably the big, one of the biggest crowds they've ever played in front of here at Napa. Uh, it's a wonderful outpouring of uh, uh, for both Elena and the beautiful game tonight. Of course, many People of Mexican heritage and Mexican descent follow Club America. Club America, a story team in Mexico City. And they travel here in the States to play a few friendlies. They were in Turlock the other night. But as we talk a little bit about Napa, there's a lot, there's a lot riding on this game for many reasons. You know, a lot of these players would love to get noticed by a, a team like Club America. They all have hopes of playing at the professional level in Mexico or elsewhere. So there's a lot of pride tonight for Club for 1839. And make no mistake, they have trained well for this match. They have uh, put a lot of preparation in and so this is a big deal. This is not just another another match for these two teams. Of course, the season ended back during the summertime in August. The goalkeeper, Cesar Castillo for Napa tonight will get the start. Andrew Carley, the defender, and we'll just kind of point out different players. Naravida with the pass. Left wing or right wing. No problem. As Castillo has the ball and just kind of passes it out to his defender in the back line. Back line defense will have to pay very strong tonight. Like I said, although this is a friendly, a lot of these kids, and this is an under, this is a U20 team from Mexico. Make no mistake, they're here because they're trying to play professional soccer. And they are here for a reason because they're very good players. So this is, as we mentioned, this is going to be a challenging evening for Napa tonight. Lined up at the wall. Direct kick. Nice little uh, chip shot there. Header goes out of bounds. So shot number one of the night for Club America. CA. Of course, a lot of fans here at Dodd Stadium wearing masks. We all know about the terrible Paradise fire up in the Chico area. Corner kick defended well. Out of bounds. It'll be a 1839 ball. But the fires have presented terrible smoky conditions here in Napa and in the Bay Area. In fact, of course, the big game, the Cal-Stanford football game, was called off today for the first time since the Kennedy era when the game was pushed back. That, that game is going to be played on December 1st. But, um, you know, a lot of sporting events have been canceled, but the show here in Napa is going on. 
And again, this is a game tonight. And you really talk about it's really celebrating the beautiful life and the beautiful game. And as we mentioned, Elena Housley, whose life was tragically taken away, the daughter of Eric and Hannah, she was, uh, was a freshman at Pepperdine University, of course, a very good soccer player in her own right at Vintage High School. And two of her classmates sang the national anthem tonight, which was very nice. So no doubt about it that that young lady is here in spirit and heart and mind. And she is enjoying this game with the rest of you watching. No doubt about it. And, you know, it, I think it's only appropriate to honor this young lady tonight. So we're going to be talking about her when we can and enjoying this match, as I know that she would be enjoying this match. And we're going to support the Housley family as best we can. Of course, you know, Napa 1839, the, the, the team, the family, has really rallied around the Housleys. And that's something that's not going to stop. They're going to need our love and our prayers and our help. No score early on here. The 38-40 mark of the first half. Long ball out on the right wing. Good counterattack. So far, it's been a pretty even match early on here. I think Napa trying to feel out their opponent. One thing about Club America you can expect, you can expect good technical skill tonight. These kids have to have good technique, good skill, in order to play at this level. Long ball. Chance, here comes the keeper, Casillo. And he clears it out of bounds. Good decision there by the keeper. CA ball. Club America in their yellow jerseys. Blue numbers. Blue pants. Napa in the all green jerseys, green pants, green socks. Some of the players to watch tonight for Napa will be number 10, that is Francisco Mendoza, the forward from Oakland. He's been with 1839 since the club was found founded and is the uh, all-time goal scorer for Napa. Number 58, Max Alvarez will be uh, is playing tonight. He'll be a guy to watch. Max, who played with um, well, he's not with, he's not with us tonight, but he was a guy that was formerly from Sac State and Sac Republic. Osvaldo Belon Vasquez, the mid midfielder was raised in Napa, but was born in Guadalajara. And he is really, uh, if, you, if you look at it, one of Napa's best soccer players to come out of this area. Napa with a, an attempt, good de defense by the back line. Club America, good job defending. Two on one in the corner. Out of bounds, corner kick. It's the first corner of the night. Four. 1839. Alvarez will take the corner with a left foot. This is a left footer with a nice cross. Good defense. Keeper comes up with it, no problem. Zamundo, the goalkeeper tonight.
for Club America. Number 305. That's right. No, that's not a misprint. Number 305. That's the way these players are identified in Mexico. Luis Zamud Zamudio. Back to Zamudio. Defense, once again, just played it safe. Club America trying to push the ball up, keeping it on the floor. This is an all, this is a turf field, so that's one thing to keep in mind. It is not natural grass. And it is a night of celebration here in Napa, no doubt about it. I forgot to tell you that the game time t temperature tonight was at 50 degrees. It's 50 degrees now. It still hasn't changed. 33-45 here in the first half. Good, good ball, good pass there. And a chip from behind. They play on. Nice chip shot here. Good defense by Napa. 18-39 trying to clear. Good give and go there. Good cleared up near midfield, but Club America doing a nice job maintaining that. You know, as we talked about, one of the keys to soccer is winning the midfield. You win typically when you control midfield, you control the game. No, not always, but that's you know something that we were always taught: control midfield, and you know you got a good shot at winning the game. A very large crowd here tonight at Dodd Stadium on the campus of Justin Siena. Crowd making some noise here with a direct kick. Chip shot over the wall. Keeper comes up with it. Castillo, he clears it. Club America now will get it back. And that is Zamudio. Over Navada, the defender. Navada, again, pushes it up himself. Long ball. No score here at Dodd Stadium on a smoky night in Napa on this Saturday. Saturday, November 17th. When most sporting events here in the Bay Area have been canceled, fortunately, this event has been allowed to move on. Now, there was a venue change. It was really originally going to be played at Napa's Memorial Stadium, but the school district did not allow its facilities to be in use because yesterday was shut down because of the smoky air conditions. The fans here supporting Club America with flags in the stands and a huge crowd enjoying their their future stars of, of for tomorrow here in Napa. Something that's a, a rare sight to you know for the fact that Napa 1839 could get a team of this caliber to come visit and play. It's a big deal. And it really highlights the beautiful game. And it's a stepping stone for 1839 in terms of development of their own organization. But I think also, you know, with, with, with the fires going on and the smoky air, and, and of course, Keeper Casillo comes up with the ball. 
as you mentioned, Elena Housley and her passing and 12 others who also, 12 other beautiful souls that were lost in somehow, some way, some small form. Right? This, this is a celebration of all those lives. And I think that's a beautiful testament tonight. People are looking for an outlet. And this, the game, beautiful game tonight is serving as that outlet tonight. So what a blessing for all here in attendance. Club America, CA, controlling so far at midfield, doing a nice job. Switch on over number 92, Menya. Menya with the ball, quick pass. Back to Menya on the right wing. Good control for CA. The young kids from Mexico City up here in the Napa Valley. Napa, good defense back to the keeper. Castillo with a clear. Napa would like to find a way to put some pressure on that Club America defense. As we mentioned, the referee tonight, Julian Arias. Byron Juarez, the referee, Walter Maldonado, and Jose Arroyo. Counterattack. Couple ball, 50-50 ball, one. Good job there. Now on the wing, quick pursuit. And a quick pass, looking for a shot, but a clear. And you can see just how skilled these Club America players are. They're good. They're fast. They're quick. They're talented. That's pretty evident. <clears throat> now the game will 27-20 here in the first half of play. Of course, we'll play 45 minutes of soccer. Nice ball on the wing. Potential here. Uh, oh, the keeper does a nice job. That's Zumadio. And it was Reyes, the midfielder, who did a nice job, had a chance at something. Here's Nap 1839. Trying to make some create some space here. Now out of the far right wing. Potential here. Quick one-two combination doesn't work. Trying to look for that. And ball goes out of bounds. Nope, still in play, out of bounds. A throw in for Club America. Club America. Trying to defend Napa. Would love to put some pressure on this keeper. Good ball movement there in terms of dribbling. Still on his feet. Nice job by Gomez, the defender. Oh, they wanted a call there. They play on. Zamudio. And believe me, the... The supporters for 1839 making some noise here. Unhappy with that one. Again, good defense by the mid by the back line. Really rather impressed the way 1839 has played with control so far in this match. And believe me, these boys have been training hard. This is something they look forward to, to play a team of this caliber. And we've got a man down. And boy, a, of, a little bit of emotions going on. 
these teams are trying to break it up, but you can see the uh, you can see the emotions going on. And in the mix there was Arturo Sanchez along with 1839's Michael Munez, the defender. And the emotions get high. One of the Club America players is down. But both coaching staffs, you know, Club America got off their feet. I mean, you can they were all on their feet, the coaching staff. I mean, there's some emotions flying. Yes, there are fights in soccer in the beautiful game. But not tonight. It's a friendly, but again, I you know, I gotta tell you. If you're an 1839 player, you got a lot to prove tonight. You got a lot to prove to your to your team, to your own club, and then you're also trying to make a, a name for yourself. Would they like to get noticed by one of the Club America coaches? You bet they would. And because all these young men have dreams, dreams of playing professional soccer or at a high level. So that's something that is. You know, let's not kid ourselves. It's something that uh, these kids have in the back of their mind. And it's it's pretty cool. No score here at Dodd Stadium on a smoky night on the campus of Justin Siena. 23 minutes exactly have gone by. And I think the fans are enjoying this match. It's a very festive atmosphere here despite the tragedy that has gone on. But there's still a big sense of celebration and um, and obviously the Housley family and the rest of the uh, owners wanted to do this tonight. In some respects, healing. Here comes the quick counter by Club America. Good ball off the far ring. Possible shot here. In trouble. The keeper, Castile. Good defense by Napa. Out of bounds. Napa ball. Big green. Playing mean. The green, the green mean machine. I like it. I, mean, I don't know if they have coined that phrase here, but uh, I might just call them that. Big green. The big green machine. Or I should say the mean green machine. How's that? Nap in their third year of existence had a decent uh, year, a better, an improvement over their last two, se you know, seasons. It is a club that is building itself. I know that Adam Housley has taken on an ownership role with, uh, how should you say, just greater involvement, and he says he wants to win. You know, that's, we all want to win. Castillo. Now we'll take a big right-footed kick all the way past midfield. 50-50 ball, one by CA. Here comes the yellow, big yellow. Nice ball there. Possibility Castillo with a wonderful save. A nice save for the keeper. Castillo with his third save. 
and a good heads up play by the keeper who came out and was able to stop the ball. Here comes CA again. This one's going out of bounds. It's going to be a big yellow ball. Club America with those well known, I'll say famous jerseys, the yellow. There's nothing about mellow yellow tonight, but no score in our game. A corner kick for Club America. And it's a nice ball. Keeper Castillo knocks it over the crossbar. Does a very nice job. And it was taken by Jose Gillian, the Winger, and he'll kick another one with his left foot. Another decent ball. Try to do the header. Castillo with another save. Wow, save number four. Another nice back-to-back -back saves for the 1839 keeper. We know that 1839 would love to counter and put some pressure on the opposing keeper, Zamudio. Eighteen thirty-nine, trying to win some control here. Nice ball. And a penalty, a push from behind. Francisco Mendoza, the forward, will try to chip it in there near the box. Mendoza with the, he'll try to connect with somebody here. Nice ball up in the air. Keeper comes up with it, Zamudio. And he hands it off back to his defenseman. Out to the left wing now. Good movement there in transition. Oh, from behind, and it's going to be against good quick play by Napa. Here comes 1839 on the attack. Trying to make something out, and they don't get anything there. They play on, and it was a, it was a Mendoza who looked like he might have gotten tackled from behind, and it wasn't. Uh, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't I wouldn't say it was. Uh, they're saying it was a clean tackle. I, I I mean, you know, it was good defense. You can't take that away. He did not come from behind in a vicious attack at all, but the referee made the decision. Julian Arias. Stoppage near midfield. 15-53. Now, I believe at the 15-minute mark, they're going to stop this game. Or are they going to do that in the second half? So they are just going to simply clap at the 15-minute mark. They are not going to stop the game. And that will be a way to honor Elena Housley. And that will be, be a great moment here. It will be happening in just a second. We'll step outside to take a listen. It's, it's a tradition in soccer that goes on. 
And let's take a listen. And you can hear the crowd. Let's take a listen. A crowd of over 2,000 people on their feet making noise to honor the memory of Elena Housley. And that is something that I have never experienced at a match before. And it was a very wonderful gesture. And uh, so congratulations to all the Napa 1839 supporters and Club America supporters for making that, uh, that possible here at Dodd Stadium on this night of celebration for the beautiful life and a beautiful game. No score. Here in our match, Club America, good defense here out of bounds. It'll be a throw in for yellow. And it'll be Edder Vargas, well, nope, he will not throw in. Instead, it'll be number 92. Ninety-two Ortega. Good bottled up defense. Eighteen thirty-nine trying to Clear 12 minutes and coming up on 15 seconds. And a shot, and a goal! Go, 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 go! Wow! 18-39, go! Go, 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 go! Unbelievable! How about that? The boys in green scoring first, making some noise. Napa, 1839 with the first goal of the game, the only goal of the game so far at the 11 minute mark. Out of bounds. Impressive. One. One nil here.
And we're trying to get the – there was a bit of confusion down there who scored the goal. We're trying to get the official – we're trying to get the official word on actually who scored that goal. We will get that momentarily. Don't worry about it. Go Okay. Uh, yes. Good to see you. So 1-0 our score. And we will get clarification of who actually scored that goal. So we do have it. It is Alan Castillo, the goal scorer. And Castillo. Scoring at around the 11 minute mark of the game. So it was the 34th minute by Castillo. And the forward, so 34th minute. And a big opening, resounding goal for The guys in green. Thirty nine, eighteen thirty nine, setting up the wall there on the free kick. Forty six minutes. Oh, another nice attack there by the keeper coming up. Cesar Castillo. So 41 minutes played. Coming up on the 40 minute mark. An exciting first half of soccer. Another opportunity here. Club America clears out of bounds. It'll be a throw in for 1839, and boy, you got to give this team a lot of credit to come into this game and play a team like this, and they are leading early on here. Good clear there. Here comes Club America on the attack. 
Looks like this one's going to go out of bounds. Nope. Saves it. Nice pass there, but it's cleared. And again, boy, the hometown kids from Napa really looking pretty solid here in the opening first half of play. Ball cleared out of bounds. You know, this, uh, as we said, a very big crowd tonight to enjoy this match. Both sides filled. And uh, you got to give credit where credit is due. These fans coming out in the smoky conditions. Shot on goal. No. Shot number three for Club America. See a lot of the Club America reserves warming up over there, keeping warm. It is getting to be somewhat of a chilly night. And so 43 minutes played. Another possibility for, for Napa. Shot on goal. It's good. Go, 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 go. How about that? Napa. 1839 with goal number two at the 304 mark. Wow, shocking. At the 43 minute mark. Goal number two, two nothing. The guys in green. What number? And that was, of course, Landeros. Here comes Napa again on the attack. Push from behind. And the stoppage there. It was kicked from behind. Trying to see who that is. Castillo again. That's Castillo's. That he he is back to back goals for Castillo. So two goals on the night for Castillo as we are getting that official now. Right now the man of the match has got to be Castillo with back-to-back -back goals. Would he love to have three? A hat trick? You bet he would. Another chance, a shot on goal. And Zamudio comes up with it. I think that the two minute stuff stoppage play, it looks like here. Here comes Club America. I think Club America a little, a little shocked here. And a wonderful turn of events for 1839 as they really try to make a statement against the visitors from Mexico. So far, 
a wonderful evening for the guys in three. And there is two minutes of stoppage play left. Eighteen thirty-nine, with a lot of hearts and emotion tonight, playing for the Housley family in memory of a Elena. Here comes Club America. Again, the back line, the defense, so good so far. Quickly. Shot on goal, blocked. And the first half should be coming to a close. So it was Castillo, Alan Castillo, Castillo, 34 minutes in the 43rd minute. Two goals for him tonight. Impressive to say the least. Not much time remaining here in the first half. And there it is. Nope. Direct kick. But there's got to be very little time left. The manager tonight for 1839. He's got to be terribly pleased with what he's seen so far. Here's an opportunity for Club America. Nice chip shot there, defended off the wall. Oh, once again, big green with the tremendous, and there it is. The first half comes to a close. Our score from Dodd Stadium, Napa 1839, two. Club America, nothing in a shocking first half from the visitors from Mexico City. If you look at it, it's pretty obvious. Alan Castillo, the man of the match so far here in the first half with two goals, one at the 34 mark, the other at the 43 minute mark as well. So, We'll take a break in action here, take a timeout, and enjoy the halftime festivities. But our score from Dodd Stadium, 1839, two, Club America, nothing. Come on back for a second half, everybody. Can you, can you, ta can you take another picture? Just because it was, yeah, yeah, go. 